Hello everyone who has come to watch my videos, and today, well, fucking mouse, okay, it's not starting off pretty good, but today you're going to be playing, well, the mod again, you can still see my saved game, which I haven't done anything to, because why would I do that, now, today, okay, the mouse is bad, so, anyway, today we're going to be playing Pennsylvania again, because I feel like it, and today, actually, let me put it, sort of on, no, that's not, well, actually, let me just change it, I've actually changed what I wanted to do, Washington shall win this, because without it winning, I will never do anything, so anyway, um, video, I'll call it, I'll call it video, for the video, and we'll turn historical AI focuses on, and today, well, we're gonna do the other path in our focus tree, which is also one of the main paths, and it involves us losing a ton of factories, which we need desperately, but anyway, it's probably going to be pretty easy to take out DC, especially if we take them out early. And they usually never win. So, we're going to actually stay progressive. Now, the progressives were basically, well, I believe they weren't very, they weren't like racist, like basically everyone back in the day. But they were still not very okay. But it, like most parties back in the US. So, anyway, I'm gonna start getting on to that. And, well, once I get the thing that happens in like a day after you start, we must work to improve the situation, even though we're gonna lose some stuff. So, why? Now, next time I'm thinking of doing the anarchist path, but today we're going to do the progressive path. Okay, so we are now at the late election again, and instead of choosing Fritz Julius Kuhn, who I really want to win, we'll choose who is no guy already in charge. So anyway, dealing with like prohibition and stuff, I believe. Well, you don't have to, but I think that overall. Partial prohibition, since like you need political power, so and also, yeah, we are kind of progressive, so we should probably do that. So, anyway, I'll see. You. Okay, guys, hello. Well, I mean, hello, guys, welcome back. Uh, so Washington has just done it, they have annexed Maryland. Now, I'm gonna do this focus, and I get claims on Maryland plus an annex orbital against Washington, D.C. Which is probably one of the few war goals that I'm actually going to get. But, anyway. Why is it this one? Oh yeah, because it's like, here. Okay, so. It's probably not going to take too long. So, okay, so we just got the war goal against them. This is going to be the first time I actually do it. I totally didn't cheat to make them just so we can be in. So anyway, this will probably be the easiest war that we've done so far. Because there's like only three. So... I don't think I have extra. I don't. That's because I haven't even sent my planes out of this. So I'm gonna do that and... Well, yeah. Start winning these battles. Oh, they just got like a ton of troops. Well, that if I have air support superior, okay, I'll see you once the war is over. Okay, so we've just taken it. Well, I guess With all these new cores that kind of are cores. Okay, reinforcements. Land. Let's get rid of those. Let's 
this guy and this and a military theorist in Europe. So anyway, I'm doing the increased minimum wage before I do this because I kind of want to get some boosts and then after that I can start getting factories and so I can build them up once I can get these focuses. Now, after this, I think I might, well, once I like finish these two focuses, I'll probably just be building up more so that I can actually take out New York. Because by now, New York has had a bit of time to build up. So, it will be pretty hard to destroy them until we have enough troops to do that. And also, once we have enough allies, which means we have to... Um, oh, we can just take them. Okay, right. So we won't have to be friends with these small states, I guess. Like in Democratic Path. But... Okay guys, so we are about to have our mock election between Herbert Huber and Gifford Pinchot. So, I don't know what this does. I hope it actually lets you pick the leader instead of it just being Gifford, Gifford, I don't know how you say his name. I don't even... Okay, okay we actually do get to pick. Now, <laughs> uh, well, uh, I th from what I know from Hoover, I think this will be a pretty bad idea. And also, I want to stay as Pennsylvania, so I'm going to let Gifford win. And now we get to pick the capital. It's in seven days, and maybe like, you don't have to do the focus or something. Let's just. Six. Okay. So, for the capital, I think that the best idea would probably just to keep in our current capital, mostly because it's pretty far inland and, well, we kind of, we might need supplies inland later, so. Anyway, I'll start doing more focuses building up Pennsylvania, and I'll probably tell you when I'm not going to work. Okay, so we've just done a line to now. Did do anything. Oh. So. I think we just invited them into our faction. Yeah. Yep. I believe they're with us. Yep, they are with us. So. In here. I think it's only if they don't accept. Maybe New Jersey might not accept. I don't know what they did. They, they weren't not aligned. <laughs> Well, they're also not aligned, so maybe they'll join too. Now, with these new faction members, it's possible we could maybe win a war. But I think only really New Jersey would work because they have more troops. Well, not more troops than New York, but like, you know. So far, they have more troops, and they'll probably gain a lot more. Just, I don't know. I'm just letting my troops die of attrition over here, anyway. So I'm losing a ton of stuff, I guess. But I could also be making tanks. But I don't want to, because... Not right now, I guess. It's... Once I get more built up, I'll probably build more tanks. And I think the focus is... It's only halfway. Well... Actually... What's this? Oh, I think, uh, you do get to actually integrate everything. So, anyway. Ooh. You got a lot of war goals down here. Or something. So, oh, New Jersey refused. This shall not stand. Yeah, it does not stand. I do not stand for this New Jersey. You know how much I don't stand this? I'm going to now try to spam out as much divisions as possible. 
Oh, you actually don't think so. I think I'm gonna just do it off of it, maybe. But we'll just see about like, them actually. Okay, so we've just taken over New Jersey. Now I lost tons of troops to you. I'm gonna say Karen from Delaware helped the game. Probably sending me the ships. So I'm just gonna take it. Because you know, so, I don't really think that So, I think I'm going to prepare for my next war, which is with New York. Now, going to war with New York probably be pretty hard, because there's like no supply up here. But, aside from that, it might be a bit easy. Mm -hmm. It could be. I'll see you there. Okay. Okay, so we just finished the opposed New York focus. Now, I don't have the biggest army. I have, well, 168 to their possible 230. Although they probably do have the same. A bit more. Than that. But, I think I'll probably have air superiority and naval superiority, which is very good for like. Actually doing a lot. So anyway, I'll probably yeah those links and well just try to surround New York because apparently they're gonna naval invade me, which isn't that cool. But oh and also double real life action because they're coming out. <laughs> so anyway. I don't think this will be too hard. Actually, it'll, it'll be extremely hard. So, I'll see. Okay, so after a lot of work and a lot of good strategy, mostly by encirclements, which made me lose a ton of troops too, we have finally taken out New York. Now, this was really hard, so that's why I don't really care if. Well, I have to hand out something like that, because, well, that took to way too long. So, I think I'm gonna stop making, like, nah, I don't have to stop making troops. But, now that I've got you, New York, once I do this focus, I believe I gain cores on it, so that I don't have to keep getting, well, Revolts in my land. So, I also put my troops probably somewhere in PA or something like over here. But anyway, I'll see you. Okay, so guys, we're about to well finish this focus, which aligns the south. Now, I'm guessing they probably won't accept. Okay, so we have completed the focus line this up now. It'll probably take a few seconds. I said it said something. <laughs> Is it gonna do nothing? I think it's gonna do it did nothing. Oh it only does that. Now We now are influencing their country, I guess. I guess that... I guess that's cool, I, I guess. But, you know, I'll, I'll just... Okay, so... For some reason... Uh, after, well... I did the focus. Uh, Rhode Island and New Hampshire actually declared war on me. Which is now really sad. Now I'm, everyone else hates me too. For <laughs> that, everyone hates me. But now I think there might be like more people who want to kill me as well. But Rhode Island probably. Uh, North Connecticut. I'm just gonna. I just. Through. 
This game is broken. Okay, let's... okay, so I've just finished justification for this war on Vermont because they actually caused world tension somehow. So it's probably gonna be really easy. And also, I might as well just nuke Montpelier. Just like I don't know. Just doing it. Oh and also nuke Carlos, because why not? So I think I can probably just speed into here as fast as I can, take as much land as possible. And you can my pillars. Maybe if I so I'll see you later. Okay, so Vermont was really easy, even though they had all this land right here, which has a lot of manpower. It doesn't really matter. Well, I mean they can't really get any manpower and it's basically just wasting away the manpower. So I'm just going to take all that, and New England, the West New England shall be easy. Except, so I'll just put one of my troops on the this board here, and I'll see you. Okay, so we have just taken out our next enemy, which is New Hampshire, which actually declared war on me. So this is very just. Okay, so now we have finally taken out the worst enemy. Just kidding, they're not the worst enemy. I thought this was actually gonna be hard. But anyway, now that we've got well most of New England, I don't think we can take out Connecticut ever. It's very good, I guess. But anyway. Yeah, let's just wait. Okay, so I've just gotten a justification of war on, well, basically Canada, which is Ontario. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I, I'm doing it. But anyway, anyways, I think most of their troops are occupied with like Manitoba and stuff, and us, but. The other reason why I'm doing this is because, well, my game is laggy as, well, hell, I guess. Or, um, well, I do know, because I'm playing it. And also, New Hampshire exists, I guess. Oh, uh, I guess. Shit. Well, anyway, I'll just do this war, I guess. Okay, so we've just taken out... Ontario, and, well, we didn't get all the war score, but I could just take it, because it's that easy. And it's so laggy, like, barely works, like anything. So, anyway, it, it even, it takes that long. Um, but we did get a few more sometimes to, our territory isn't the best. Um, Anyway, I'll see you next time, baby. See you.